The ninth annual Innovate Conference was a huge success and it was all virtual. We're told it went awesome. We just did amazing. Uh, our technology staff and our technology ambassadors, we gave over 108 presentation sessions between Monday, August the 3rd to Friday, August the 7th. We had over 108 sessions with over 10,270 participants with a 91% attendance rate. In the classrooms that we have at Innovate, we usually have like a max of 30, so we're able to do it by ourselves. But a lot of our sessions this time, they had about 250 people in there. Uh, and you're, you, have a, you have the presenter that's doing the presentation. It, they can't be stopping the presentation to go and see what questions are showing up. So our facilitators came in very, very handy. This was also my first presentation online and it was a little bit different, a little bit challenging. I think I was very lucky that I had these two presentations on Remind and Quizzes because it actually allowed me to do a little bit of interaction with the teachers. I would like to say that I like how the teachers really were eager to learn for this distance learning. And I think the questioning uh, really helped us also evolve as presenters because we were getting those questions and we were like, okay, they're getting it. I think one thing that really stood out is when we started Monday, I'm sure we were all overwhelmed with nerves like how is this going to work out as far as participation and I think each day as we progressed we improved ourselves with the presenters and the popularity grew people started sharing it on social media so every day you had more and more participants. We were very happy to see that many people in the, in the sessions and a lot of questions very inquisitive uh, teachers they wanted to learn they wanted to learn more about what we were teaching. I know a lot of our admins were participating in Innovate I know that when we actually have the conference, they just come in real fast in and out, but actually they were participating, asking questions, and they really wanted to know about this. And I There were sessions for parents as well. I think it helped the parents to see, wow, this is what our kids go through, you know, when, they are, when they're having to do the Google Classroom or be online with the teachers. And so it was really a good experience for them. And we had parents, I think, that joined us every day because they wanted a refresher on Google Classroom or they learned something new and then they come back and ask questions. And so that was really, really neat. I think it was awesome um, that we could not only serve our parents, but to be there as a support. A lot of times, you know, our parents are going through a difficult situation just like we are. So there's just so many different resources that are available that we were able to inform our, our parents of. And I know everybody walked away with at least one or two golden nuggets. Those we spoke with say one of the best parts of the conference is that the sessions are available online for every teacher to view at their own pace. We uh, decided that it would be in our best interest instead of just giving a copy for each teacher that since we are in the blended learning, uh, distance learning during the pandemic, that it would behoove us to go ahead and make them available to all of our ECIS family uh, through the uh, distance learning website. Many times at Innovate, one of the, one of the, some of the feedback that we get is that I never get to go see somebody else's session. And right now, guys, as soon as that digital library comes out, I, I'm jumping into Priscilla's, I'm jumping into Joanna's and Thomas's, and I'm clever. I mean, I heard almost so much about each and every single one of you. The tech ambassadors say they're happy the conference was an interactive experience for all who attended. Reporting for Edinburgh CISD, your district of choice, I'm Delia Ramirez.